back to the street, remember I was born. 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 Howdy, Ellie. Got the Dorito. Got the Dito. Hello there. Hey, Misty. How's it going? I love this song. It's so groovy. That is good to hear. I gotta go grab a fan for my desk here in a bit. So, uh, you guys don't hear my aid my AC every time I talk. Baseball.org? What happens if I click that? It seems to... Oh, it's for sale. If you want to buy it, Ellie, you could. You could own Baseball.org. Or Basil. This song is such a jam. I love it. No, it's a domain you can buy. Here we go, best part of the song. Oh, I love it. You know, oh, for real? Basil Maxing. I, uh, I'm kind of sad I don't have a, have a, uh, a 3D avatar that's, like, matched to my movements, because then you guys will, won't, like, if I ever get an avatar that actually matches my movements, you guys might be able to see me groove, and, like, I don't know, I do little dances in my chair. I admit it. A lot of YouTubers are afraid to admit they do little dances in their chair, but they do. Hi, Obi. I for real had someone make their character sheet in a Discord message. And when I asked them what their armor class was, they sent me the equation to solve to figure out their armor class. I'm like, fuck off! <laughs> Nice! I'm replaying Divinity Original Sin 2. Game's a lot of fun. I've, uh, I have been enslaved and have escaped slavery all in one day. It's like Kenshi all over again, but scripted. I just realized I've been grooving here this whole time without the ad even playing, so I guess we're not having any ads this stream. Yo, which the fuck I thought, you had 25 days left on my subscription. Yeah, Twitch keeps screwing you, man. I don't know why Twitch keeps screwing you like that. Ah, uh, it's all good. I also had another person, I had several people join and then leave saying the Discord was too unorganized. Which is some criticism I ne might need to take into account and sort of things. What's in the box? Is it dead? Is it alive? Or is it both? Uh, well, I don't know. But you should, like, slip Kibble into the box. She'll be happy. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Also, hi, Blue Wolf. Good to see you. Don't go nowhere. You're stuck here now. You gotta watch the whole stream. Beer B.
All right, let's say we get started. Not like I was going to do that anyway. <laughs> Organize the militia. Yeah, there were people joining. They just immediately left. They just, it wasn't for them. They didn't quite understand what I was going for. Uh, which I was kind of shocked at, to be honest. But it's whatever. I'm not upset. It's more just like a funny thing to talk about of just like, uh, yeah. Somebody joined and said, oh, I thought it was going to be a closed table, not a community. And I was just like, it is? It's just a big table. Um, it would be. Sounds like a skill issue, TBH. Oh, absolutely, I agree. I like I like what we, how we got it going on. I mean the entire server. Like, sorting the channels better and categorizing them. Grouping up uh, voice channels that correspond with each other. That kind of thing, you know? Uh, but that's something I can do later. Right now, let's play some room. Uh, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Nervous about this because it's been a minute. And, ooh, okay. Interesting already. We got some arrows and shit. Let's go here. A small slit in the exact center of the table. Alright. We have those arrows there. I don't know, man. Twitch is a fucker sometimes. You're a fucker, Mr. Twitch. Hydrate? Will do. I got some water. I want to fucking support the creators I like. Hold on a second. Did they stop supporting PayBell? Is that what you said last time? Uh, does Twitch... Uh-oh, because I might have to... That's how I get paid. <laughs> uh, crap. Hold on. The easiest way to accept payment on Twitch. Okay. All right. Now they stopped supporting Ideal. Oh, okay. I'd switch to PayPal, honestly. A large circular indentation... Okay, looks like I can't really fuck with that yet. I need a key of something or something. Aha! Okay, small socket for something. We got this puzzle over here. Let's take a look at this. I wanna, I wanna look at that. I would like to. All right, let's try this over here then. Oh! Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Brass winding handle. I want to do an escape room now. Yeah, I've never been able to do- I, I've never had the courage to try and do one. But, but I can't. Ah, oh, shit, I'm sorry, man. That's a bummer. Is it for this one? I don't think it's for this, but let's try it out anyway. Oh, I'll be damned. It is. Cool. Alrighty. Oh. Oh! Non es adastra molis e teris vi. See circular thing that looks like a hole also looks... Doesn't look like I can fuck with it right now. <laughs> Wake up. I'm trying. Wake up. <laughs> hey, Pant! How's it going? E, who's it gonna be? Sword. Alright, looks like we're stuck with sword for the time being. I don't know what it said. Uh, uh, said. Oh! That clicked out of the window. That was weird. Oh, crap. Oh god, let's get back to it. Holy shit. I clicked out of the stream manager on accident. Sword. Uh, oh, that's a broken shape. That'll make it- we'll make that into the cube, as we do. What? All right, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There we go. Hey, look at that. Make D&D escape room. Red herrings with your plates trying to figure out where to look and go. You know what? That's a good idea. I might just do that. Players, not plates. No, the plates. Ow.
Looks good to me. Looks to me like an ancient dagur. You have cheesecake? I'm so jealous, man. I got a che I had a cheese danish earlier because like that little interaction with um uh there we go. Um let's go over here then. Dun, da, da, da. Jeez, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you hate him so much, TJ. But yeah, how are you guys enjoying the campaign so far? I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's very overwhelming, and when Julie, what Julie said earlier, I really felt of just, oh, hey, guys, I just couldn't be here because I thought I was going to die. And I'm like, yeah, same. The other day, I just couldn't be on because it's just so... Yeah, the whole interaction with you being British... <laughs> Oh yeah, Blue Wolf, right. Yeah, t talking to you made me crave a Danish. Uh, okay, that flips all of them at once. They're all the same, and if I hit this, what does that do? It resets them, okay. Well, whatever's going on here is something we're not going to be able to figure out for the time being. Uh, let's say we... That's that there. Large circular indentation. There's got to be some means of moving this. All right, we got sword. All right, it's not running yet. Oh shit! There it is. Opened up in VR chat, actually talked. Hell yeah, nice work, man! Alright, I can remember that. Two bottom right, two middle, two top left. Two bottom right, two top middle. Alright, where the hecky is it? It's right there. I did it. Click, 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 click. Yeah, you really, you really went hard at that internal monologue. I thought I was really impressed. I like that's been a fun thing for me is trying to style a Mogus. It shows me how manipulative I can be. <laughs> nice. I um, I've kind of learned from the campaign that like what I'm trying to do is give everyone's narration a unique voice. My favorite one that I thought of so far has been uh, Adora Bombers. Adora Bombers narration because he's an, a mechanic. Oh, help. <laughs> Mogus is really fun, and yeah, I can teach you that you can, if you're good at lying, that's one of those games you can get really good at. Rum is trying to keep it up. There's a dried up dead spider on the wall. Well, it's dried up and dead. We have a live spider in our bedroom. We like him. Every night we go to bed, there's a big ass spider on the ceiling, and Vea's like, look honey, it's the spider, and I'm like, yeah, I hope the cats get it. I say refusing to get it this cat and lazy all right well it's an eye now what i'm wondering is can i stop these let's see all right does nothing excellent uh in that case i get it i get it now so now we just wait, or Strian Painter killed that spider. What is in June? What are those noises you just made? Excitement, because I'm figuring out a puzzle. It's so cool. Uh, maybe it's on Ideal's end. Uh, maybe you, you might have to just do direct deposit if that doesn't. stop you that sucks the actual cement blocks for feet that's funny you should say you make from how much you make from Twitch. As of now, my lifetime earnings from Twitch is fifty dollars.
Now I'm reporting you. No! Don't report! Oh, man. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. <sighs> there it is. Not sure if I should do the DMD thing of thing of Bob. You should. It's a lot of fun. Did I see that graph? What graph? Especially if you work the same place. People treated. Yeah, you want to ask them, but don't tell people you ask them. Um, but yeah, you should totally join up, Pant. It's a lot of fun. It's easy. Obi's currently working on joining. Uh, it's great. Go back to the window pane. Uh, I will here in a second. That's tough. Because when it comes to just exploring freely, I think it's a lot more fun. But when it comes to the people, locations, and things you can get up to in New Vegas... How do I put it? New Vegas has better scripting. It has better scripted shit. In terms of, like, actual unique places to go and characters to meet. But Fallout 3, just wandering from one point of the end of the capital wasteland to the other... Without any sort of quest marker, yields a lot more interesting results. Oh yeah, absolutely. I agree. I love walking through the ruins of DC. It's also really it's also an urban environment. So if you prefer an prefer an urban environment, then you'll be you'll get that. Something is wrong. I followed the incantation of the very letter. Astaroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. Into the group and then a nat 20 against me, right? And that is if you found him and if you wanted to be in the group. The visions have increased. They gather to me and cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them. The lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those who that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere which which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. You know, it's, a, it's walking through the ruins of DC in New Vegas or in Fallout 3 is a lot more interesting than walking through the real DC. In modern day. You said through the window pane. Listening to Live and Learn. Good song. <laughs> oh shit, right there. Duh. Bing 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 bing. Got it. Yep. It really does. A lot of fun. I wish DC looked like the Capital Wasteland. I love Fallout so much. I wish Washington, D.C. was real. Hmm, <laughs> how do I join the D&D? Uh, you just... I'll message you the instructions now. I'll message to you right now. It's really simple and easy. Uh, biggest thing is to thoroughly read the document. Most questions you have will be answered there. Oh, shit, did I just cut and paste? I just cut and paste. Let me copy and paste instead. How about that? And I have been adding more to the document, so... Oh, shit, I forgot to post and let everyone know that I'm streaming. There we go. Uh, and then I gotta get you this this pant. Uh, what is your name on here? Oh, I don't think... Actually, I don't, I don't think I've DM'd you yet. Weird. All right, pant. There you go, pant. Here, no, you're, you're just at the very bottom. Hi, hi, use, use all this stuff. There you go, I should get you set up. Uh, I'm pissed off at Twitch. I'm sorry, man. Oh, yes, be sure to send me your backstory. That's important, because that'll let me flavor your... Um, what developer said it's Las Vegas and DC. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Pete Hines, who knows? Uh, yeah, because if you send me your backstory, it lets me flavor the uh, narration. So it's a lot more fun. Um, right, I gotta post my shit. Let's do that real quick. Back to it. Let's do it. I thought you see the notes tab. You can't, sadly. Um, I guess it's more just that they have the technology to do to make that when they got around to it. Fallout lore is kind of a mess right now because there is so much of that. Like it's never been compiled into one place outside of the wiki. There's no, like, big Fallout lore book you can get. Even the Fallout Bible is more about the development of the game than it is about the lore. 
Uh, and a lot of the <laughs> really important stuff, nice. A lot of the more important stuff is hidden away in terminals in Fallout 1 and 2. Sadly, you cannot see the notes tab. I don't know why D&D Beyond is like that. It's really weird. Um, right. I guess I could put this here now. I wasn't sure of the mech story as I go. Yeah, yeah. As long as it doesn't conflict with anything that's already happened, um, you can add to your backstory and fill in blanks. That's why it's best to have just bullet points to start. rather, than, And then you can little add bits and pieces here and there. Uh, what I like to do is title new segments and additions to my backstory and just be like, this was th the story of this event and what happened to them. And make little narratives, you know? It's one of the many fun things about being a D&D &D player. And if your DM is interested, it might, it might give them something fun to read. Okay. Yeah, it's because it's where the developers live. To be completely honest with you, it's where the developers live. That's a big part of it. Bethesda is Bethesda, Maryland. Is in Bethesda, Maryland, which is why those games are very, like, New England-centric. Now it's time to move the shit. Hmm. Oh, what are, are these arrows just pointing to what I need to fuck with? Ah! I do see... I seem to find out what these arrows need to point to. Um. Uh, yeah, it is. And then in their case, in their case, they, um, it, it's a funny thing for them because it's like, yes, it, you did just make it about where you lived. However, where you live is a lot more relevant than where Bethesda is. All right, this is still interactable, so that might still solve something. I hear the ticking of the, t the, t the ticking of the talk again. Nope. Boston and everything in Massachusetts. Yeah, to be honest, if you played Assassin's Creed 3 and Fallout 3 back to back, you'd learn to hate those places real intensely. Seriously, where the fuck does this go? Whoa! Okay, my eyes have been opened. Yeah, that is pretty lucky, isn't it, Blue Wolf? Everything in Fallout 4 is pre-war slash. I'm kind of slowly revealing their backstory through their internal dialogue and stuff through chatter. I need to ease up on that. Um, yeah, I'd say so. I think I think an internal monologue can make a character really interesting. And I think we picked a very good medium to do it, because there's no time factor. You can just take the time and really flesh out your character through their internal monologue. But... Yeah, I, I agree. Your main way of fleshing out your character should be through dialogue and through their actions. Mm hmm. Hmm. Weird. Um, alright, let's try that again, I guess. 
Maybe I fuck something up. Hmm. Would you live in room? Probably not. It's pretty terrifying. <laughs> All right, let's move back here and try this again, I guess. Just go through all the settings. Yeah, this place is too creepy. I wouldn't live here. I'd live in Mist. Mist is another game of this kind of aesthetic that I'd love to live in. Like, seriously, I, like, if I'm going nuts here, what is the... Hmm, what is the pillar? What is the meaning of the pillar? No! Fuck! Oh, that's so finicky. I wish it would just, like, zoom the camera out to an angle that lets me see this shit. It's really annoying. Yep, once again, featureless pillar that I can't really do anything with. What's going on here? Okay, what else can I see through this lens? Alrighty. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I have... 33.2 mu money. What about loan? What about loan? Uh, would I loan a room? I don't know what's going on with this thing. Let's try to pick the spaces between... God damn it, I just want to move the camera. Why does every button do the same thing? Oh my god. Don't do this, by the way. If you convert a mobile game to PC, create PC controls, for fuck's sake. It makes shit really frustrating when I want to do one thing and end up doing something else. It's like games that put their block button and their dodge button on the same fucking button. It's like, no, sometimes I want to block, sometimes I want to dodge. Let's make sure the buttons are in the same general vicinity, but otherwise, fuck off. Actually, no, better yet, make sure I can... I have the ability to use both buttons at the same time. So, like, in Dark Souls, for instance. I like how Dark Souls' default button binding is that uh, on the B button is your dodge button, but on the uh, shoulder button is where your block is. And I can't stand how in Bayonetta they're on the same side of the same controller making it so, so you can never actually hit your target. As you know, there's only one button, and that's the dodge button. Uh, what if you place the arrows at the fire things? Fire things. Um, at the, oh, at the globes? That's not a bad idea. Let's try that, shall we? Because, like, if that's not what that's for, and that arrow is just to, there to distract you, then it's worth a try. Alright. Okay, so you know what? whatever's happening is I'm moving this structure on the inside. And it looks like there's either three or four settings for it. But I don't know what they're used for yet. Well, whatever's going on with it, we can't mess with it yet. So let's see what else is at the table. There's these spots here, this spot here. How many arrows are there? I wish I could just move it from here. Make my life, make my life a lot easier than having to move this little dial here. Okay. Well, oh, I think I get it. I'm going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. But luckily, I have one because I've been doing D&D &D stuff. You can for console PC, make fit and key binded. Also, Dark Souls 3. Yeah, I actually really like the default bindings in all the Souls games. Souls are, The Souls games get a bad rap for being hard, but I think they're really good at like being pick up and play games. I think I get it now. I think I figured it out. Let's see if you guys figured it out. Did you figure it out? Tell me what the... Let me know. Let me know what you guys think the solution is, because I have a theory right now, and I'm very excited to test it out. 
My favorite thing about puzzle games, by the way, these are like really, puzzle games are really fun. I wish they were more popular. Uh, actually, no, I don't, because then they'd get way too hard. <laughs> um, and then the middle two. I like puzzle games that make me feel smart, not puzzle, not puzzle games that make me feel fucking stupid. You know? Don't make mistakes. That easy. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, they aren't? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, on the mouse and keyboard. God, you're right. Yeah, the, the Dark Souls... The Dark Souls uh, PC key bindings are infamously bad. All right. Excellent. Only half paying attention. The other's on cooking mode. Yeah, Soul, Souls games key bindings are, like, infamously bad. I remember one time I was uh, playing... When I was playing Dark Souls 1, I didn't even bother with the mouse and keyboard. I just went like, all right, fuck it, you know, controller. And one time I was... I think I was standing in Seath's archives, and I, like, clicked, and my character put away their sword, pulled out my crossbow, and shot it. And I'm like, what the fuck is that binding? Might get the games on Xbox. I recommend it. Why do I gotta hold spacebar to run, run? Why do I have to be running the jump? Well, that's just a Souls thing. That can't be helped. That's just part of the gameplay. In fact, I don't think we get a jump button until Sekiro. Oh my god. Uh, well, I found the Philosopher's Stone. That's pretty neat. Get it. Oh. Shard of the Monolith. Messiah. Um I haven't played I haven't played any of those, honestly. You can't even change the keybinds. That's terrible. Yeah, it's dreadful. Uh, I remember having to get Durante's patch for oh. Oh shit. God damn it, I did it again. Yeah, I remember there was a patch you'd have to get for Dark Souls 1 on PC that would require you to, um, there we go, no, not that, uh, which would require you to basically edit a notepad file if you wanted to change your PC settings. Um, Music stopped. Weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was uh, Durante's patch. I made it to the testicular tree. In what? Well, there are eggs, but I don't care. I don't know what to do with this thing. Oh, in Dark Souls. Oh, in Dark Souls Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got very far in that game. I, I don't know. I just, I think I was just burned out on Souls when I played out Spread Me or Wisdom. Yes. Oh yeah. Tomorrow we're gonna be wrapping up Stalker. That'll be fun. That game's been a trip. I am kind. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, no, I don't get it. Back to fucking with this window pane. Because I know the idea is that I need to assemble this shape here. Been a trip of ups and downs and just walls. Yes, effectively. Oh my god, yeah. Stalker has tested my patience. And it's made me realize something, and it's that... I don't think Stalker fans like Stalker for its gameplay. And, like, if you're a long-term Stalker fan, that's probably, like, a, yeah, no shit Sherlock situation. But, like, oh, you, you know, whenever I go into a game, I just assume people like everything about it. But, no, Stalker's just got a really unique setting and atmosphere that is unlike pretty much everything else. It's got a real character to it, and people like it for its character. They don't really like it because it feels good to play. It's the anti-Fortnite. <laughs> Where it's like, people like that game for how it plays and just kind of put up with the way it looks. 
Um, or the anti-Minecraft. No, people love the way Minecraft look. I never, I've never really loved the way Minecraft looks. Um, but there are parts of it I enjoy. Where the fuck? Oh. Well, ain't that, ain't that something new? A lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. This is right next to the desert biome <laughs> Fortnite. Uh, yeah, the Minecraft looks, Minecraft's look has grown on me. I, I'm a huge fan of, like, pixel art, though, and a lot of the stuff is just, I think, kind of ugly looking. But then again, there are some things I love in Minecraft. Like, I think, End I think Endermen are adorable. I love the fox. I love the chickens and the dogs and stuff in terms of their personal designs. And I like, I think the world can look really, the world can look really pretty. All that being said. It just, I don't know, I've seen some mods do some really impressive things with Minecraft's art style that I wish the game would just do. Oh, here we go. Into Stonehenge. Why are there no roosters in Minecraft? They're all roosters. They're all roosters. Yeah, Shader Pack can do a lot. There's a mod a mod set I had for a while called Better Minecraft, and it basically added a bunch of new creatures and shit to the game that were really, really impressive. Um, they are Hemus. They are hens. But they also reproduce with each other, so I guess in Minecraft, hens asexually reproduce like frogs. Oh my god, these- this is like a- like the tone is like a stalker cutscene, what the fuck? That was Strelox. Strelox in the room! Strelox in the room! This is what's in the sarcophagus! Oh my god, where on earth- where on earth am I? Oh gosh, that's funny. Oh shit. Oh shit, I think I'm in the dude's study. Nope. Pad with a sketch of the null element. I'm sorry, I haven't played any of those. Uh, I've, I've considered buying both RimWorld and Factorio, but they have they almost never go on sale, and I'm just waiting for them. Rumex Stalker confirmed? <laughs> uh, what's this? Some sort of maze that I'm most likely going to have to tilt. More gears? Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Limited edition English drum table. Hmm, okay. One, two... Oh, I love the stuff. I actually really like the uh, time to learn hieroglyphics. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm uh, trying to figure out what the correspondence is here. Because I know there's story shit going on that I'm really interested in. But, like, puzzles, man. Puzzles. Two small holes. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh my god, that's a giant hand. I see, he was murdered by a giant infant. It's obvious now. So long, Samuel. Hope you burn in hell. There's my gear number one. Hell yeah. Uh. Yeah, that was going to require a key of some sort. Some sort of musical notation. Oh boy. 
Oh god, it's like that fucking it's like that puzzle in Mist where you have to learn have to have an ear for tone, and you have to like match up the t- the the music note with the with the, or you have to mix the sound of the note with its actual note, and then solve a puzzle. Fuck. <laughs> Previous cuts didn't look like because it took me this long to figure out. Uh, I would recommend if you like trying to figure out how to keep a colony of space colonists alive without dying of hunger, disease, drowning, idiocy, or of course a lack of oxygen. Yeah, all right, I'll have to give that a try. Um, I'll add the other ones to the list since you mentioned that they're similar. I just, I don't know. I, I tend to, I need to, I need to just download more games for free and try them out to see if I like them because I've been there have been so many games that I purchased that I just didn't really get into. Uh, we have a gear now. Let's go ahead and use that gear, shall we? There we go. Well, that's cool. Oh, I get it. If I do it again, it puts it down. Okay. Oh, I see. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. And. Huh. Okay. And every musical note, even though I play saxophone, distant yell, try the Ghost Runner demo. I have that game wish listed. It'll show up. <laughs> It'll be streamed eventually. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, open the door. Five, six, Among Us kicks. Here you go. No. 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 No, no, no. You will die. All right. Hit them both. Hit them both. Hit him again, hit him again, hit this one on the downswing. Now if I, oh, oh shit, okay. Now I have to do this last two steps. Hit this one, then. Got him. Coming with the rebound now, absolutely. When a real head scratcher, the larger the more yeah, more needs to make larger complex and okay. Yeah, okay. I'll be honest. I I I don't know if that sounds fun. Because for me, whenever I play Zoo Tycoon or uh Cities Skylines or Civ or Total Warhammer, when everything goes to shit and stops being my perfect little utopia, I just quit and start over. I literally just go, oh, it's doomed, and I give up. And I, 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 I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to just play those games more and get used to the idea that I need to continue to suffer. Because like for me, I'm just not having fun when my my thing's failing. Challenge in those games that may not actually be fun for me. You know what? I believe that because I like several of my younger relatives love just role playing jobs and Roblox, and I, I remember like sitting and watching. Oh my god, we might be, actually, I think we're the same. Because, alright. My, uh, like, my cousin Asher, right? He was playing this, uh, he was playing this, uh, like, roleplay server in Roblox. He was playing a gas station simulator, right? Exactly what you're describing. And I was just like, is there any chance of losing? He's like, no, no, we're just playing pretend. I was just like, okay. 
I was confused. I was like, there, there's no game here. You guys are just playing pretend. And it's like, holy shit, is that why I play Zoo Tycoon? I don't, like, when I play Zoo Tycoon, I don't want to lose, fail, or have a chance of failing. It's like, what do you mean actual play? Like, does it give people gas? Like, does it give people gas? Oh, you mean like a simulator, like a realistic simulator? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, when I play Zoo Tycoon, I don't want a chance of failure. I just, how do I put it? I just want to pretend I'm running a zoo and have fun pretending I'm running a zoo. Or like with uh, City Skylines, I just want to pretend I'm the mayor of a town. When I ultimately overfill the river with sewage and use the river for too many things and the waves of shit and piss lap over my lower districts, I usually just quit. All right, I might, I might fuck around with it. Like, I just know for me that the act of losing in those games a lot of times just isn't, isn't fun. If I if I lose, I want it to be quick and brutal rather than long and brutal. I don't like the long fall. That's always upsetting for me because, like, that's why I can't really get that far into, um, like, RTS games. I was really never able to get into RTS games because, like, the moment I lose a base that, I'm, that I feel I can't get back or lack the resources, I just quit and restart the level, you know? Man, I'd have to clean up. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I, I'm familiar with that. I'm, I'm familiar with uh, Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, but can you rebuild the city before it falls? Yes, but will it even be worth it? You know, that's the real question. Because, how do I, how do I put it? Very few games actually have real loss and failure. I'm one of those people who, when I play a survival horror game... I oftentimes will just let myself die so I don't have to drink a potion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it worth saving at that point? Like, when I play Resident Evil 4, I don't heal. I don't use healing. I don't use herbs. I hold on to them until I can get a red, a green, and a gold, wait for myself to get really low in a section where I don't want to give up, and I use it to upgrade my character and refill my health. When it comes to regular gameplay, I oftentimes just let myself die because my life has less value than a green herb. If you guys are getting what I'm saying. Because, like, when I play an RTS, it's like, yes, I can maybe eke out a victory. But why don't I just do it right from the beginning and start over? And so that's my thing with, like, Zoo Tycoon. Zoo Tycoon, I play, very, I, I play Zoo Tycoon very safely and very slowly. And if anything goes wrong, I load an earlier save and I continue from there. Stalker kills quick. And that's something I respect Stalker for, you know? I like I like games that kill me quick sometimes, you know? The only game I've ever been able to get over that fear with is Kenshi. Because Kenshi does interesting things when you fail. When you fail in Kenshi, interesting shit happens. And it's not even a failure, it's just an alternate path. I have no idea what this means. Oh, Metal Orb. There's something strange about it. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, that's a hinge. Meaning on the other side... There's nothing. Okay, so it clearly opens. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. It's the COD Zombies orb, right? The combies. This is as hard as it looks, by the way. I did it. It's a Pokeball. There's a Pokemon inside. Oh. Alrighty, I'll take a look. Hey, the other gear. Nice. Uh. Yeah. I'll take a look later. Took a take a look later. It's a pocket dimension. It's like a bag of holding, but for Pokemon. It's like there's a spot for three gems. Um, right, well, let's swing back over here and... It's like a little pocket dimension. Uh, what's inside of them is just metal and energy. It's like uh, when a Pokemon goes into a Pokeball, they just feel the sense of warmth and they basically hibernate. Oh, 
Strangely shaped key. Some old fashioned tarot cards. Those are some badass tarot cards. The kind I have are persona themed. Yeah, like the back rooms. And it's just like, but, but you don't actually experience it. If, if, if a Pokemon woke up inside of a Pokeball, it'd probably go fucking insane. That is, a, unless it broke out. Because it can break out if it wakes up. It's just, it's like being put under when you're in one. I think the first Pokemon po Pokeballs were magic, but I'm not sure. Because they were made out of Apricorns. They were made out of, like, uh... Nuts, effectively. Alright, it's, it's missing something. Oh, no, no shit. What if I seal the Pokemon? That Pokemon is dead, man. It's gonna starve. <laughs> it can't get out. It even works underwater. <laughs> it even work on water types. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Alright, what does that mean? Is that the fucking mystery box sound? <laughs> That's really funny. All right, it's key number one. I know where that key goes. That goes here. No idea. Humans go inside Pokeballs? No, I don't think so. <sighs> like hibernation, it's not. Can humans go inside them? I don't know. I don't recall that ever happening. I'm sure it happened in some episode or another. The episode where the Pokemon rebel. Decide that enough is enough. Hmm? Okay. There it is. Yoink. Metal plate with two pegs on it. That's right. There it is. I know where that goes. Cool. Oh, not cool. slot huh all right well I guess that's that with that all righty blue wolf thanks for stopping by man blue wolf's a Pokemon I'm sorry, I had to out you like that, but you're it's like we can't keep a secret any longer. You're a Pokemon. You're a blue wolf. What else could you be? 
I will, I will have a wonderful stream. Magnificent bastards. Um... Ryo, yeah. Yeah, just stasis, absolutely. Like, time stops moving. You're not a Pokemon? And a flex sealed Pokeball, yeah. Get him. Oh shit, hey! It's on. Okay, triangle is an S. Okay, what is it again? Alright, like a weird S with dots in it. Sounds good. There it is. Alright. And then... Two is a squiggly. Kind of squiggly, though. Hold on, go back. Oh, it's a little uh, curly loop. What's, what's one? One is a triangle with a swivel through it. Go. Yeah, it's all coming together. Gotta catch the blue wolf. Gotta catch him. A coin. It's a money. It's a mew money. Talisman Kuryo Kuryo Ko Roller Organ Token. Oh, it's to power the roller organ. Ah, all right. Don't mind me. Just being sleepy. That's all. Hey, squishy tiefling! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you woke me up. How you doing? How you doing, Squishy? Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Oh man, I love the I love the Metal Gear soundtrack. I was thinking about like every time I hear that I hear the dun dun and I get excited for the Snake Eater soundtrack where it's like dun da dun dun da dun 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 da dun dun da dun. It's a lot of fun. Uh where do these go? Alright. Some sort of tuning keys looks like. Um Having a key and not knowing where it goes is so frustrating. It's like having a lock that you can't open. That's unfortunate. What's way worse, not knowing where the key is. Or or not knowing where the lock is to begin with. That moved. What caused that to move? Hmm. Don't let us come in, don't lock us away, we're not like what you're thinking. <laughs> Open up StarCraft, hell yeah. Like me some StarCraft. We're just poor little souls who have lost our control. StarCraft? Or this, this game's a lot of fun, I'm liking it a lot. You say that about every game I play that's not Stalker, Obi. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Local cat sings Five Nights at Freddy's song to get over the stress of not being able to solve a puzzle. Alright, what's going on with you guys? You guys are weird. Let's take a look at you. It's the basic key with a, a thing. This game is cool. What is what is Stallycraft? Is it like Stalincraft? Even funny. 
We are poor little souls who have lost our control and they force us to take us wrong. From what I've been told, this is what an escape room is like. Obi wants you to become a stalker streamer. Ah, uh, that ain't gonna happen. I don't like stalker that much. <gasps> Alright, huh. Yeah, that side's different. What's going on with you? You're different. Why are you different, though? What makes you different? What makes you special? That's a compartment that I guess can open up later. Uh huh. Hmm. You're all pigs except the foreigners. Wow. Oh, wow. That's something, isn't it? Uh, we are poor little souls. Fuck, I'm confused. Yo, Squishy, thank you, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Uh, where, oh, where has the objective gone? Oh, where, oh, where can you be? I have two keys. I don't know where they go. Please tell the truth to me. I'm genuinely stumped. I did not think that these two keys would be what holds me up. I've been pretty good about solving these. I'd be terrible. I feel that. My girlfriend says the same thing. She's just like, I, I'm telling her like, oh, the atmosphere is really cool. And I'm telling her about the game. And then she goes, oh, I, that sounds really cool. I should play that. And I'm like, no, you shouldn't. It's a puzzle game. You'd hate it. She hates Portal. I Like, who who hates Portal? My girlfriend. She doesn't like puzzles. Heresy. Heresy. Right? Like, because she just doesn't like puzzles. I remember talking to someone once, and I was like, talk, we were, we were talking about, okay, okay, here's a conversation I got into a long time ago, and it was, what is the perfect video game? And I came up with two answers, or, or three answers, Tetris, Portal, and Portal 2. I cannot think of a single flaw of those with those games, to which they responded, what if you just don't like puzzles? To which I responded, well, the game's not flawed in that case. You are. <laughs> You're just broken, and that's okay. This world... Oh! Sorry, I just got it. Life is a puzzle. Get real. <laughs> Um, right. Take that there. Uh, sorry, I just need to draw this symbol real quick. Um, yeah, it's close enough. Um, where are you? Here it is. What? <sighs> okay, 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 that's weird. We even change that? That would be... So fucking strange, man. That's just to switch that. That doesn't do anything now. It was a cage that blocks the thing. Okay. Okay. I change this? I can change that. Okay. Complete the history of <laughs> Arranged to the melody of Tetris. That's good. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, that's tempting. That's a close one. 
You seem to be a weird combination of arcane symbols and notes, if you know what I mean. Um, it's like the da -na 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 sounds like uh, the zombies. Alright, I'll check that out. That sounds fun. We'll try to do that here in a minute. Oh, we got another switch here. And this is what leads to the notation. There's something to this. I don't know what it might be, though. No, I... I have no idea. I'm confused. I don't know what it could be. I'm getting frustrated. Non frustrated. Hold on a minute. This has three dots on it. Okay. What's the symbol for the three dots? The three three dots is the squiggly. All right. Well, let's try and find the squiggly here. That ain't it. Hmm. All right, Misty. See you around. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Where the hell? Right, that was that spot I opened earlier. Uh, um, right, that is something, but I'm not sure what. So I can change this note, but I don't know what I would change it to. Is it really that simple? I think I might have just figured it out, and I feel stupid if I did. Yep. So, on the right is the, the eye with the drops. On the left is the weird squanchy. Let's go ahead and draw that real quick. The other one is the... Oop. Little eye on it. Okay. That's for left, that's for right. Good. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. So, that one should be the eye with the drops. There we go. And on the left should be the squanchy. Like the little names I make up for this dumb bullshit. There we go. And the left should be the squanchy. There you go! What did that actually do? Well, can't change the squanchy anymore. Oh wait, no, we need the third symbol now. So that means, let's go ahead and grab this. Good to go. Oh. Damn it. Fuck. 
Good they are, okay. Buttons. Oh, okay. The light pillars. I should have known. Aha! Now the real question is, do they have to make a symbol one way or another way? Well, there's... Start is... 573. Got it. Wonderful. 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 Alright, and 7 and 3. It goes, you failed. Go away. Bye-bye. And there's our keyholes. We got it, everyone. Oh. Huh. Ah! Ah, uh, I gotta love that aha moment. It's really nice. It's aha. Uh -huh. It's good. I don't wanna cry again. Alright, that's good. Uh, uh, maybe? No, not yet. Can I take the puck out of its spot? Um, okay. Aha! Okay, okay. Means this here would be the next one. No, not quite. Then, right here, we'd take this back one here and shift it towards the back wall. Right? No? Okay. Then it would be the other way around, right? Be on the right side so we need something that's a spot on the other side because okay, this one is here but it's going to end up on the opposite end so let's go take this here take this and oh nice hell yeah man i finally got a 4k tv and it's not it was not worth it sad to say All right, that's going to be on the other side. This one right here, we want to get this one facing upright, so let's do that. There you go. There we go. And now we'll check it out, and it's not the one. Man, if you are not good at spatial manipulation, these puzzles are a pain in the ass, man. 
that's going to end up on the bottom. We need something in the bottom... Uh, the bottom left. No, the bottom right. Because this one's just going to end up... Yeah, something in the bottom right is what we need. Oh. No. Close, but no cigar. Then that one's just going to end up in the top left. And we need something in the uh, top right. Like this, but on this side. Oh, okay. Cool. Like this, if it wasn't already filled in, but you know what? Fuck it, let's give it a try. Yeah, see, it's already got a spot in it, but maybe. Yeah. No good. There you go. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. All done. Unless we're not all done. Now what? Okay, maybe I gotta... Nope. Well, shit. I'm not quite sure what to do with this puzzle. No, I genuinely don't know what I need to do here. I'm probably going to have to come back to this later, but there's no, it's the only thing I have left to do. Ah, so it's so upsetting because like I don't know what else to do on this level. Uh, let me look around and see if that changed anything. I don't think it did, but I might get lucky. Maybe the top. No, nothing happened there. OK, what about here? Mm -mm. Shit, man. I'm properly fucking stumped on this. Tarot cards exist to taunt me. I'll get it one. I really don't understand. I'll tell I'm just stunned. No, I have no clue. No fucking clue. I might actually have to look this one up. I am very stumped. Hate to see it happen, but... I don't know what any of it could be. Is there some sort of pattern it wants me to do? Like, I'm not sure. Actually. I can't tell if this is intentional or if it's just a repeating texture. I'm not sure. And if it's since I'm not sure, I'm assuming that's not the case. Alright, let's try to get no bricks. How about that? No bricks. That's not what I did. That was some bricks. We want no bricks. There we no, no bricks. Why? Why is it in that case? What could that be? Is it down? Is that what that is? Why is there always at least one brick? 
I don't even know how that pattern makes any sense. I am really confused. How does this thing work? All right, so what I'm looking at and It really doesn't feel like there's any sort of rhyme or reason to this fucking thing. Why is that one poking out slightly further? Hmm. This really is something. Let's go ahead and turn hints back on temporarily. Maybe it'll help me figure things out. Heck. Resume. Hmm. I could have swore I should have solved the like I feel like I should have solved the puzzle, you know. Like I feel like I sh this should have been it, been it, but I don't know what to do with it now. It's very confusing. And that noise needs to stop. Like if that doesn't mean anything, that shouldn't be there. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that frustrates me about certain games is they include all this other extraneous shit. And so when my mind shifts into this hypersensitive way where I'm like, I need to pay attention to everything that's going on. Why is there anything here except for only what I need? Anyway, God, this is tough. Waiting for that hint to pop up at this point, so I'm just like, why? What am I doing? Also, this is something that... This is also a game that's really hard to look up like uh information for because well it's called the room and it's hard to find shit for it in this case god damn it this sucks i'm having so much trouble with this uh, fuck it fuck it i'll come back maybe there's gotta be something else at the table we can do there's this i don't i still don't know what this is for um there's this thing i don't know what this thing does its existence annoys me. Wait on that hint to pop up. Oh my god. Fuck. Alright, hold on. <sighs> the game is only like two hours long, there's gotta be a full game walk walkthrough. Full game walk through. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've already done this part. About this part. I'm already ahead of this. Alright. Uh huh. Alright, the rods were an easy solution. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Never did that before. Oh, wait, no, that's the rods. Okay, what the heck? Oh, this is a completely different game. Why does it look like this? Oh, this must be the mobile version. I see. Okay, he slides those into place. Uh, I'll turn that on for you guys so you can see what's going on. Okay. Good, yeah. Don't call your, by the way, don't call a guy your guy to walk through unless it's actually a walkthrough. Call it something else, because this isn't a walkthrough. Like, it, like it, I don't know. I just get frustrated when I watch walkthroughs and you can clearly tell who's playing it doesn't know what they're doing. It's like, well, then edit that part of the video out, <laughs> you know? Uh, anyway. Bad take, maybe, but still, it's like, I 
wish you would just get to the solution. I guess it isn't it is helpful that it's like showing you the steps of the process. Like I can't tell if it bugged out or something. Like it bugging out is always a possibility with any game you play. No, good to, like yeah, it's like if you're going to be if you're going to be doing an instruction video on how to do something tech support wise, and that's functionally what this is, but it's for a video game. Don't like waste my time. There you go. All right, he goes there. Also, this is such a shitty looking version of the game. Why does it look like this? I guess I am playing the remastered version. It's just remembering that this used to be a phone game is super funny. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? That's exactly what I did. So it actually just bugged out. I think my game is glitched. Yeah, yeah, it, it actually just bugged the fuck out. Because it's all here. I completed the puzzle, it's just telling me I didn't. Can I... Here, here's what we'll do. We're gonna quit. Yeah, quit the game. And then we'll come back, and hopefully it'll restart to the beginning of that puzzle, and we can try it again. And if it does that again, uh, we can probably restart the chapter. Because I don't want to have to reset the whole... Like, if I have to, and I have to re if I have to reset the whole game, we're just not playing the game. <laughs> That's what that is. All right, cool. I'll reset the puzzle. Thank goodness. I wish I would have looked that up sooner. Yeah, it's a bug. God, this puzzle sucks. Um, right. Yeah, I bugged out. That's it's always sucky when that happens. Okay, and now we need... Right. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Alright, excellent. Red gem and a metal plate. That's okay. I'll help you out. I'll, I'll look it over real good. We got a lens for seeing. We have a thing for thinging. A ding for dinging. Alright. Nothing yet. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oh shit, this goes here. Excellent, and now we can look through the uh, lens at it. Oh, okay. Part of a puzzle, it seems. I see. But there is a house in the picture, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's try these now. Mm-hmm. Now these I can do. There we go. Blue gem. That'll sell for good. That'll sell pretty good with the mar with the vendor. <laughs> the um RE4 merchant. What are you buying? Selling. I'll buy that at a high price. I'm back any time. There we go. Other side. 
Yeah, tell me a bit about them, Pant. Tell me what you tell me what you made. What kind of what race class combination did you choose? That's always a good place to start. There we go. Green gem. Fuck yeah. Alright. Puzzle the puzzle continues, ladies and gentlemen. Choose either or, huh? Okay. Now we did it. We completed our puzzle. Alright, can I move the rocks around? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, that's that one stays where it is though, no matter what. So blue, green. Yeah, and then... Perfect. Awesome. Tell me everything. Yay, 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 yay! Oh my god, it's a small... It's a tiny civilization. It's like that shrunken Kryptonian planet. It was it all along... Oh, this is like that puzzle that fucked me up earlier. You did it second try. Yeah, right? Perfect. Glad that worked out. You were just screaming. Yeah, because you, you had figured it out, and I'm like, I don't get it. I'm a stupid cat. Oh, cool. Um, is this a cube? Always has been. Oh, wait, hold on. Aha! There you are, fucker. Round two. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Alright. I would love to have one of these things in real life. If someone, like, gave me, like, this whole thing as a birthday present. Like, I, I would be, like, a rich old dude obsessed with puzzles. That'd be so sick. I'd love to be, like, a rich old Professor Layton. Ill-ass limity snick it up in this bitch. <laughs> Alright, not you. Tell you what I am. I'm an ill-ass normal motherfucker who's been waiting for two, waiting for you for two hours under a bridge with homeless people. <laughs> Hello, Cedric. I'll oh, get ready to start yelling at me again, TJ. Uh. God damn it! Should have finished it already. Well, I hope that doesn't happen this time. I feel like it's gonna happen this time. I'm already very lost. Have I just re did I just restart the whole puzzle over? No, no. This is what hell would be like for me. Too EP to scream at you. How do you get artisan tool? Go into your uh, so over where it says your equipment, our inventory. Go there and t and search up just artisan tool. Uh, there you can also look up the artisan tools and pick the specific one you want. Some classes, some classes in include it, and other classes you have to add it separately. Uh, depending on what you picked, I can always just <sighs> link me your character sheet. I'll give you an artisan tool. 
We went past progress. I know. It's because of the path forward is unclear. And I keep getting reset because it's like, alright, that path was the dead end. Yeah, that's going to start me all over. It's these ones that always fuck me up, man. Yeah, just reset it, I guess. See, it doesn't lead anywhere. It just doesn't lead anywhere, so it was a waste. I'm back over here. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so I have two options here. I can go the, either go here. Let's try here. There we go. There we go. No, go back. No, it's right here. It's right It's right there. It's literally right there. Oh, my God. Hit the button. There we go. Missed it. Uh, here, let me just... Let me just show you. It's gonna be easier this way. Uh, let me just boot up D&D Beyond real quick, and I'll walk you through. Open up Asakara. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so inventory. Manage inventory. Uh, artisan. Uh, let's just say you want cobbler's tools, then cobbler's tools. Under gear, see? Uh, you would just look up the ones you want. So, like, alchemy. Alchemy. Alchemist supplies, that kind of thing. Uh, and if you want to look up uh, a list of what these things are, I, I will copy and paste one into the document real quick. Yeah, that's the basic idea. Uh, al um, artisans tools 5e. There we go. Uh-huh. And you're going to want to pick one of the tools because it'll allow you to do crafting and shit. Use your tools, pant. Looks much less complicated on mobile. Yeah, that's true. Oh, another symbol. Um, oh, wait, what? Did I... Oh, now this one I actually got to assemble. But I found it out anyway, so there we go. What's happening? Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! There goes the lens. I've opened the door to flesh. You made it through, unflustered, I hoped. As there'll be surely, st surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back. Not for any of us. For now, you are as trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. Are there? Or is the game over? Uh... Select chapter. Epilogue. That seems new. Let's check out new. Uh, if it is, if it isn't, we'll go ahead and play, uh... Yeah, this isn't new. This is what we just did. I bet you this released episodically. Yeah. Yeah, this... That was the end. Well, that was the room. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will wishlist the second game. And, uh, we'll get around to that when we get around to it. I guess we are we might be starting up Ace Combat. No, it's about time. It's about the end of the stream. You guys just want to chill? You guys just want to kick it? Just kick it? Whatever. Fuck it. You know? Kick it! Uh, yeah. I guess I can just play some more Divinity. I've been fucking around in Divinity. Um, I'll add the next room game to my wish list. And we can just mess around with something else. Is this game good now? Or is this just like a joke thing? Yes, it is still a joke thing. Yeah. The room. Ooh. Okay, I added it. Badass. All right, send me your backstory and we'll get you all set up. Back rooms? Sure. I can do that.
Go play some back. We can we can do the back rooms. Don't see why not. Nice. Here we go. Here's the back rooms. Yeah, let's begin. Apparently there's a sequel to this I need to check out. Called the Back Rooms Expedition. Wait, hold on. This might be a different game. I don't remember there being a 1990 at the beginning. Uh-oh. Whoa. -oh. I'm going to get spookled. Oh, yeah. This is new. Or this feels new, at least. Maybe I just don't remember how this game starts. So this game has a special secret. First off, this looks amazing. Um, and the reason why it looks amazing isn't because the game is really realistic, which it is really realistic. It's that a lot of the backrooms footage you guys see, a lot of the backrooms content is animated in the exact same style this game is animated. So it just matched the style so well that it ends up playing like one of those backrooms videos. And this is all just going to be creepy atmosphere and shit. As far as I know, there's no, like, monsters or anything in this. Pet the cat. Pet the cat in the back rooms. What? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. I deserve pets for completing those puzzles. They were hard on my little cat brain. No. No, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. No, not this. Not like this. Not like this. And you're gonna pet my knee. There you go. Snack room. <laughs> I'm down for snack room. Uh, the, uh, I don't remember there being Ave Maria in this game. This might be one of the, like, nine backroom games I downloaded for Vea to play, and this is just a different one. I don't remember the Ave Maria. Dude, that fucking bedside table scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a creature. This is the analog horror of exploring your church when no one else is there. If you don't mind, I'm just going to move towards the Ave Maria. They've been updating this, haven't they? Holy shit. I should probably play this again next year. Or for Halloween month. Oh my god. This is really creepy. I I was not aware that they've been updating this so much. Holy shit. This is my reward for completing those puzzles to get creeped out. 
made uncomfortable by infinite rooms. <laughs> no, no I haven't. And I couldn't watch it on stream because it says the n-word within the first 30 seconds. Like, that happening in a game we're playing like GTA San Andreas is fine, but it happening on a YouTube video that I specifically searched up is less fine. I don't want to risk... I want to risk trouble as little as possible. <sighs> Well, this has been a magical experience. Let me check my playtime on this. Four hours. Okay, so yeah, this is the one I played last. This is the one I probably played and beat a couple years back. Okay. I don't remember there being Ave Maria. I don't remember any of this. Smell wetness. Ugh. All right, we're, we're closing out of this. Uh... The drywall is weak. Oh god, that's that's terrifying. A roof leaking in the back, a ceiling leaking in the back rooms. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Tomorrow we are going to be playing Stalker, more Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, and I think Thursday we're going to be playing Ace Combat. Um, I didn't get to start it yesterday because I just was too sleepy, because I was very sleepy. And I needed sleep. But tonight? Um, but our uh, tomorrow night? Maybe. Or not tomorrow night, but the night after that. We can probably play some Ace Combat. I've been catching up on some sleep. And tonight I'm just going to probably make sure that that game's working. Fuck around in the back route. Fuck around in uh, Divinity. And then uh, head to sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying the ongoing D&D campaign in the chat. Uh, if you haven't joined, anyone can join, anyone can get started. No prior requirements. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and just invite anyone who's here and isn't in the Discord yet to join the Discord. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for the end of Stalker. Night, everybody. Good night. Oh, we got to find someone. We got to go raid someone who's playing, uh, playing the room, even though no one's playing the room. I guarantee fucking T you that no one is playing the room. Except for me. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Someone's playing the room. Oh my god, guys. What the hell? It's verified accounts only. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. 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 No raid tonight, you guys. Sorry. Maybe tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys. Oh, wait. No, hold on. You guys, want, If you guys are up for some more back rooms complex found footage maybe more than no it's the, yeah no all right thanks for watching guys you have a good night see you around i can't see your emotes because twitch fucked me over i'm so sorry tj good night everybody